Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Matt and it is that time of the month again. Today, we're taking a look at the top apps for March of 2023. And can I just say, it's my birthday on March 3rd and I'm not that excited for turning a year older, but if you guys wanna wish me happy birthday, then uh, leave it down below in the comment section. But let's just jump straight into the video. So on my home screen, not much has changed. It's pretty similar to last month. The only thing different is I've changed the wallpaper. So I've made a custom wallpaper pack with four beautifully designed wallpapers and you can check it out on my store. I'll leave a link down below. But uh, it's $2.50, but I now have 50% off. So uh, yeah, just go check it out on the store if you are wanting to pick up this beautiful pack. So the first app is called Any Tracker, and this is an app which allows you to track numbers on a website or even text if you want. So you just go ahead and click on the plus button, click on website, then click on number, and you just paste in your website right here. So once you paste it in your website, you can go ahead and click on whichever number you wanna track. And once you've done that, it's gonna go ahead and pop up on the interface here. And you can track so much more than just prices on Amazon. You can actually track your social media stats. So your follower account, whether it's gone up or down, your view count of a specific video or your social medias, like your Twitter, your Instagram. There's so much you can track using this app. I mean, it's in the name, any tracker. You can literally track anything you want um, so yeah, if you want to track some numbers, you want to be notified, then this is a cool app to check out. App number two is called Live Loop. This is a free wallpaper app, and there's also a premium version. I will be giving away some free promo codes. So if you want to check out my Instagram, check my story, I will be giving away some promo codes for the premium version. But this is a wallpaper app which has moving wallpapers. So a little bit different this month, but they're actually really beautifully designed. I really like them. They are clean vector graphics. They are like computer generated. None of them are real videos, but they're all moving. So like this one on the plane here, I already know the plane is gonna be moving in this. So yeah, as you can see, plane is moving. It's got this really nice like blue colored thing that is dragging behind it. I really like all these wallpapers. They're all like so minimal, but the fact that they move, it just adds that little bit of dynamics to your home screen. And it's super easy to just set them, just press the set button. You can also click on this clock and it will actually add it to an automatic changing list. So every time you lock your phone, it'll cycle between all the ones you've added to that list, which is kind of cool. App number three is called Idea Note. I'm a massive fan of creating notes on my phone, whether it be YouTube video ideas or just stuff I have to do. I always forget things, so I like to note it down on my phone because I'm always on my phone. So with this app, you can actually swipe in from the right hand side and you can see all those notes you made in this list and it's on top of whatever you're doing. So if you're watching a YouTube video and you wanna jot something down, some, something you've maybe learned, you just swipe in from the right and you can quickly press on this button at the bottom, take a note, and then you can just start typing away and creating your note. And you can add labels, you can add reminders, you can expand the note and add images. There is a lot you can do with it but it's just a super advanced note app. And once you've done with the, the thing you're wanting to be reminded about, you just swipe it away. So really clean design, I really like it. App number four on the list is called Seal. And this is literally the most basic app ever, but it's super cool. So you just need to go copy a link of any video or any song you want. And this app allows you to download it directly to your device. So even if it's a YouTube video with music, you can just download the music aspect. You don't have to actually download the entire video. So yeah, that's really all it does. Let me just show you it working. So if we go to YouTube, let's search for one of my videos, obviously, because we don't want any copyright issues. Copy the video here and then go back to seal. If we paste in that video, press the download button. As you can see, you can save the audio, download the playlist. You can even change the video format or the video quality. So right now, I just wanna to talk to you guys about music and specifically music on this channel. So you'll notice I have some intro music with some B-roll. I have normally some background music when I'm talking. And then I commonly have my famous outro music, which leads to my end screen. All of this adds just a vibe to my videos and it really spices things up, especially if you are into B-roll shots adding sound can literally make the scene. So Epidemic Sounds is today's video sponsor. And if you're a creator or you post videos on social media and you're looking for a platform to license music from, 
Epidemic Sounds is amazing and truly one of the best. Even like Peter McKinnon recommends it. It is basically like a music streaming platform. They even have a mobile app and it's got all the benefits of a normal streaming platform other than the fact that you actually own the rights to the track. So you can use them on your own dedicated websites. You can use them on your Instagram or on your YouTube and you're not gonna have any copyright strikes. You're not gonna have any licensing or legality issues. And Epidemic Sounds is definitely very affordable. I'll leave a link down below. You can get a 30 day free trial using my link. And if you're interested in all the different songs I actually use throughout this tech channel, I've actually put together a full playlist. So you can go onto Epidemic and actually find my playlist and listen to all the songs I use within my videos. But if you're thinking about being a creator or you're just wanting to post content and not worry about music, then Epidemic truly has some awesome artists and I'm a big fan of even just listening to the music in my free time. They have a great app and it's just an incredible platform. So go check it out. The next app on the list is called Edge Card Launcher. So this is a launcher you access by simply swiping down on the left side of your screen and it opens up this panel here. This panel has really useful things in it. So you can change your caller volume, like your ringer volume, your media volume, you have media playback controls, like your play, pause, your skip track. You can see your battery level, turn on your flashlight, adjust your rotation lock. You can even quickly access your settings or any app of your choice. So you can add in like custom app shortcuts in here. You can add in some contacts if you wanna quickly like speed dial them or call them speed dial. Who says speed dial anymore? But you can quickly call them using this quick panel. I personally feel like it's useful because you don't have to reach all the way to the top of your device and then pull down that notification panel and then pull it down again. You can just quickly open up the panel at the side and you have more functionality in there too. So there's a lot you can do with it play around with it, it's completely free, and the link will be down below. The next app is called Safe Headphones. So you know when you're out and about, you maybe got your noise cancellation headphones on and you're walking around, it can be kind of dangerous. Like people might be shouting for you, like there might be a car about to hit you or honking the horn, and with your headphones on, you're kind of in your own world, you don't really hear it. This app allows you to turn any headphones into a pair of headphones with transparency mode. So if your headphones have microphones built in, this app will allow you to listen through those microphones in order to hear your environment. And if there is no microphone in your headphones, then you can just listen through the microphone inside of your phone. In the app, you can just toggle it on and you can change the overall like transparency level. And you can turn on filter noise, which just kind of reduces all of the noise and, and it only allows you to focus on the ones you might want to care about like honking horns or people talking to you. So a super simple app, there's really not a lot to it, but they claim that it helps save lives. So maybe it does. Let me know down below if it saved your life. I guess, how would you know? The next app on the list is called Pinned Shortcuts. So you know whenever you hold down on an application, it gives you these shortcut pop-up options. So you can actually customize what shortcuts are in there. So once you jump inside the app, you can go ahead and create a new app and then just search from your list of applications, which one you wanna change. So let's say YouTube. Then down here at the bottom, you can choose which shortcuts are attached to that application. And not only that, you can add additional apps. So say YouTube Studio, rather than cluttering my home screen, I can just have a long hold on the YouTube app and then tap on YouTube Studio. And then you can also change the icon as well as the text. So whatever the app is called. Once you've done that, you just go ahead and hit install or in my case, update. And it's gonna go ahead and put it directly onto your home screen. So boom, I've now installed it. And as you can see here, there's that new app with the new icon, but it is just the YouTube app. And I've added the YouTube Studio app inside of the shortcut section. I've also added the ability to quickly jump to the search bar. So I don't actually have to go into the app, then click search. I can just directly jump straight into the search field. So uh, yeah, that's just a custom way of changing the shortcuts inside of your app. There's so much customization inside of here. You can literally do so much. It's definitely worth checking out. App number eight on the list is called Web App. So this is an app which allows you to convert web pages into an app-like experience. So inside of here, it's got popular things like Facebook, YouTube, Telegram, Instagram. So inside the app, if you wanna create a new web page application, just click on Create App, then you paste in the URL of whatever website you want, and it will now be an app inside of this app. But if you wanna export it to your home screen, just long hold on the application, click on add to home screen and you can actually clone it as well. So you could have different accounts for say Instagram, you could have different apps inside of here. So it can be useful. 
I've created one right here for my store. So I've actually put it on my home screen. And if I click it, it opens up just like any other app, except for the fact that it's actually a website that I created. So um, yeah, remember to check out my store if you do want to pick up those wallpapers. But this is such a cool app, the fact that it just turns any web page into its own dedicated application. App number nine is called Black Screen. So many of you out there won't have YouTube Premium and it can be really annoying when you're just listening to audio from a video, but you have to have your phone unlocked with the screen on. So if you wanna get around that, you can download Black Screen. This allows you to create your own always on display. Just go ahead and hit start and it will pop up with this floating lock button right here. And once you've gone ahead and selected your YouTube video, whatever you're watching, click on it and it will dim your screen as if your screen's completely shut off. And then to turn it on, you just go ahead and click unlock and boom, you're back into your phone. So just a great way of creating that black screen effect when you're watching a YouTube video without actually locking your device. The last app on the list is called Photo Tools and this is a utility box filled with features that allow you to compress your images, crop them, change the file type. You can also use a color picker. So if you wanna actually find out what exact color was in an image, you can go ahead and select your image in your gallery. I took this really awesome picture of like the green Northern lights the other night, it was crazy. And if I hold down, I can actually see the, the hex code right there. I can actually see the hex code of all the pixels inside of my image. So uh, really powerful app. There's a lot of features packed into here, but personally, if you're into taking pictures, this is super handy to have on your device. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That is my top 10 Android apps of March for 2023. If you guys could subscribe down below, smash the bell icon, smash the like button, smash everything. I will see you guys later. Peace.